Hello everyone and welcome to Credit Finance. In today's video, I bring you a PBT update for March of 2023. There's now 11 states that have been approved to provide the PBT benefits for the school year 2022 through 2023 and then talking about the 2023 summer PEBT benefits also 5 states have been approved to provide these benefits and we also have estimated fail dates and finally if you live in the states of Oregon I would like to share some really good news since the state just announced the payout dates for the $391 for the summer PEBT payments from last year so once again if you live in the States of Oregon, there is some really good news since the state just announced the payoff dates for the $391 for the summer PEBT benefits. So make sure you guys stay until the end of this video to ensure that you receive the information. Now before we get started, if you are interested in the latest news regarding stimulus, child tax credit, SNAP, PEBT and everything in between, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below. So here we are on the official website of the state of Oregon and it's oregon.gov website here they are talking about their pandemic EBT and so here on their website they are already announcing as of February 22nd that the PEBT benefit for summer 2022 are on the way and even down here they even have some frequently asked questions like who is eligible for those PEBT benefits, how much will my child receive and will win these PEBT benefits come so let's go ahead and explore some of these details so how will my child get their PEBT benefits will all eligible children will get a new EBT card in the mail whether there are new two PEBT or have received PEBT benefits in the past so each child within the household who is eligible to receive PEBT benefits will receive their own letter in the mail before receiving their benefits. So if a child is receiving SNAP then PEBT benefits will not be issued on to EBT card which is also called the Oregon Trail card that is associated with the SNAP case. The household will receive a separate PEBT card in the mail. So I know several states usually they will deposit your PEBT benefit into your SNAP EBT card but know that for the state of Oregon that is not the case you are going to get a separate PEBT card in the mail. And how much will my child receive in PEBT benefits? Remember guys that here we are talking specifically about those in the state of Oregon. So each eligible children will receive $391 on a PEBT card which is like debit card. All students identified as eligible for PBT benefits will receive the same benefits amount and well will my child receive these PBT benefits so the Oregon Department of Health Services will initiate the process to get summer 2022 PEBT benefit in the last week of March. So once again it seems like it's going to be an on the last week of March, most eligible children will receive a letter addressed to them in the mail followed by the arrival of their individual PEBT card in April. Then household will receive the full PEBT benefits their children qualify for in a single insurance. And now moving on to the 23 summer PEBT benefits. Remember that these benefits are already being announced on the USDA website. And here's what we know so far. Due to the 2023 Consolidated Appropriation Act states now can submit a PEBT plan for summer 23 without a school year 2022 through 23 PEBT plan for school child or children in child care now regarding these benefits they are announcing that for those in the contiguous state it will be $120 in Alaska $188 in Hawaii Gum Virgin Iceland Puerto Rico it will be $139 here with some eligibility information regarding the 23 summer PEBT benefits so one of the frequently asked question is are all children eligible for summer in 23 PEBT benefits well the FSCR makes school children eligible for PEBT benefit during the entire 23 covered summer period so here we are talking about school children right they are eligible however when it comes to pebt child care population which also includes snap enrolled children under the age of six is only eligible when the 
federal public health emergency remains in place so in the event that the public health emergency expire on may 11th then states may not issue pebt summer benefits to children and child care in 23 and when it comes to the summer pebt 23 benefits all funds must be distributed by the end of the fiscal year of 23 which by the way is september 30th of this year so all of the states actually have a deadline you guys and if they don't send out the benefits by september 30th in other words they are going to be in a trouble so assuming that the public health emergency ends may 11th as antiseptic pbt funds will not be available beyond the end of this fiscal year 2023 and states must issue all pebt benefits by september 30th so this applied to pebt benefit for school year 2022 through 2023 and also summer 23 benefits issued by the state for the school year or summer after september 30th may result in liability to the state thank you and here we have the five states that have been approved so far for the summer PEBT 23 benefits that include the state of Arizona, Hawaii, Utah, Vermont, and Wisconsin. And here are some additional information that you can also find on the USDA website. So starting off with the state of Arizona, Arizona estimates that it will issue $66 million to approximately 550,000 school children during the 23 covered summer period in addition. Arizona will issue the U.S. standard benefit amount of $120 to all eligible children. It will also tentatively issue these benefits to children in later or July slash earlier August tentatively issue these benefits to children needing corrections by September 1st of this year and ensure benefits are issued prior to the September 30th deadline which is the end of the fiscal year. Arizona will publicize on their website that the application submission deadline for summer 23 PEBT benefits will be the last date of the school site's academic year or June 30th of 23. Assistant and for those in the state of Utah, now Utah estimates that it will issue $25.7 million to approximately 215,000 school children during the 23 covered summer period. So in addition, the State of Utah will issue the U.S. standard benefit amount of $120 to all eligible children. It will also tentatively issue benefit to all eligible children in July and then tentatively issue benefit to any household that may have been missed due to file or transmission error in September of this year. It will also ensure all benefits are issued prior to the September 30th deadline. Now the state and its school district will identity by the children who are were eligible to receive free reduced price school meals as of the end of the school year of 2023 through 23. Then we have one of last state which is the state of Wisconsin. Now the Wisconsin Department of Health Services, Wisconsin Department of Public Instruction and the Wisconsin Department of Children and Families will issue PEBT benefits through the state of Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program which is the EBT card system to household with eligible children. So the state of Wisconsin estimates that it will issue $50.9 million to approximately four to 5,000 school children during the 23 covered summer period. In addition, Wisconsin will for one issue the U.S. standard benefit amount of $120 per eligible children tentatively issues benefit to all children in mid-June. 3rd mid-June 23 and ensure benefits are issued prior to the September 30th deadline as well. And today I also bring you an update regarding the PBT benefit for school year 2022 through 23. Now remember guys that these benefits are not the same benefits as summer PBT benefits right as both of them have very different requirements and so when it comes to the PBT benefits for the school year 22 through 23 here we have the Benefits amounts for those in the contiguous United States, the daily rate totals at 8.18 in Alaska, 12.83 in Hawaii, Gum, Virgin Island, Puerto Rico, it's at $9.45. And now we have 11 states that have been approved to provide the PBT school year benefit of 22 through 23. And that's include the state of Alabama, Hawaii, Indiana, Minnesota, Michigan, New Jersey, North Carolina, Ohio, Rhode Island, Vermont, and also Wisconsin. And as I mentioned previously, not all students will be eligible to receive the PEBT school year benefits since there are certain requirements 
that each student must to meet so here the additional detail when it come to school age children eligibility the children do not receive free or reduced price school meals at the school because the school closed or has been operating with reduced attendance or hours for at least 5 consecutive days due to the covid emergency in the current school year so they must have been absent for at least 5 consecutive days due to a reason because of a pandemic right so if a children receive a school meal at the school while they are attending in person then those students are not eligible for pebt benefits on that day and when it come to school children in child care meaning children under the age of 6 here is a little bit of information regarding their eligibility so the child covered child care facility is closed or has reduced attendance or once hour again for at least 5 consecutive days resulting in child inability to attend the facilities and that's all the update that i have for today remember to turn on your notification button to know when i have uploaded a new video see you guys next time